Guys, guys, you know what? The new Zebra wet plate holder is out. Yes! <laughs> Hello everyone, it's been a long, long while since my last video. So for those of you who are new to the channel, I welcome you on board. Many things have changed uh, while I was absent, uh, both in my private life as well as in business. The news that I'm most happy to share with you is that I became a father in the meantime, so I have a small baby zebra jumping around the house now. Meaning when I'm not busy working, I'm spending and devoting all of my time to my family and loved ones. But also when it comes to the business, to the zebra dry plate business, it has uh, grown substantially. Which is awesome because this is what puts the bread on our table these days. Uh, we've been super busy not only hand coding thousands and thousands of uh, dry plates but also uh, releasing new products. Probably the biggest uh, release of the last year were um, dry plate tin types that present a great advancement in the field of uh, direct positive imagery. But besides that we've also uh, been uh, manufacturing holders, drying racks, uh, lens boards and so on. Basically all of the equipment uh, necessary to, to shoot the plates. The main reason why I'm making this video today is to introduce you to our latest and greatest Zebra weight plate holders version 2. That uh, just got released a couple of days ago. And I'm about to show you all of its uh, new features and upgrades uh, compared to the old design. So keep on watching. The uh, old version 1 was a success on its own and it's still a great holder but as with all zebra products we always want to improve them and make them better and uh, this time was no exception. We gathered your feedbacks, your reviews, we always pay close attention to that just to see you know what things can be improved and uh, what features you might be missing with the old version. So there you have it, this is the result of this research, so uh, let me show you what things uh, were improved and why this new version is so much better. First of all I would like to point out this uh, magnetic back system that has proven to be the main feature of the holder already with the version 1, as you can see on the back here because it uh, simply allows for uh, one-handed use of the holder you can uh, easily load and unload the plate using only one hand even in complete darkness as you can see right here everything pops back right back into place the main reason we changed things a bit from the version 1 is believe it or not rust so the old version had the magnets on the inside like this so on the inside of the lid and also on the top side of the insert so uh, for those, for maybe 5% of the folks who either haven't been cleaning their uh, holders properly or have been using the holders um, a lot, like heavily used them, for example like uh, Shane Balkovich who is uh, mainly using and shooting with zebra holders now, he probably shoots a couple of uh, hundreds of plates a year. So he started to notice that some of these magnets started to rust uh, even though they are nickel coated, the silver nitrate is simply too strong and uh, it slowly eats away the, the top uh, surface and then the magnets start to rust. So like I said, even though this was a small percentage of, of, um, of feedbacks that we got, it was a big of an alarm for us to, to try and find another way to fix this issue. And I'm super happy to say that we did. You can immediately see the difference from the old design. You can see that with the new version the magnets are now on the outside of the lid and also underneath the inserts right here so if we open up the holder there are no magnets to be seen. Uh, by doing that um, we obviously like uh, completely eliminated the, any chance of silver nitrate getting directly in touch with the magnets themselves. So this will definitely improve the longevity of the, of the holder. For extra safety the magnets are now glued in with, uh, with epoxy as well, just for, for double safety. So yeah, that's it for, for the first update. All of the Zebra holders that uh, we manufacture are built following strict ANSI standards and uh, there are many things that have to be taken into an account, like the width, length, distance from bottom to the start of this, to the top of this wedge. 
then uh, we have the focal distance and uh, many more things and I can assure you that these holders will uh, definitely fit pretty much any large format camera out there. And most importantly the holders now accept both uh, US standard also called full size 8 by 10 inch plates. They fit them perfectly and uh, because of the way this insert is designed you can also insert slightly smaller plates uh, also called uh, like European uh, standard sized plates which uh, we used for, for the zebra dry plates. If we compare it to the full size you will see they are cut a uh, couple millimeters shorter here. But yeah you can insert those as well. You can center them like this, pop the lid on and voila you can fit them both now. Simply for the looks of it we had this beautiful zebra stripe pattern on the top of the holder right here. Then with the new version the dark slide is now completely hidden inside of the body and uh, therefore protected from potential uh, breaking by dropping the holder. Or dark slides are now made out of carbon fiber. So these new zebra holders are now officially the lightest and most portable wet plate holders on the market. These new carbon fiber dark slides are a big improvement to the old design because as you can see these old slides that were made from, uh, from FR4 sheets are, have much more flex in them and this, this new carbon fiber you can see it's like spring steel you know it's uh, holding its shape and uh, this is especially important with uh, larger formats for example like 8x10 or larger because you have a big slider that you have to slide in and out and with the old slides it could happen that the slider uh, like sagged a bit and then it dragged the top surface of the wet plate itself and damaged it and uh, with these new slides there is no danger anymore for anything like that to happen. And on the body itself we have added these uh, exposed and unexposed indicators both on the front and the back and uh, these indicators in correlation with the slider that has an arrow on it helps you determine whether or not your plate that you have loaded inside has already been exposed or unexposed. If we take a look at the inside of the holder you'll also notice that with the new design we have added a special notch on the top of the insert right here. This notch has uh, one great purpose and that is that when you come back to the dark room with your exposed plate you can simply put your finger in like this and uh, lift the plate up from underneath and take it out. So there is no need anymore to let's say flip the holder around you know just to get the plate out and so on which is never a good idea especially when you have a wet plate inside. When placing your order you can pretty much completely customize your holder up to your wishes. For now you can select from different type of inserts. So you can go for a standard rounded corner insert, you have a 90 degree corner insert and also a triangular corner insert. You can also add in different types of uh, reduction frames which I will talk about later on. And uh, you can also personalize your hol holder by adding some, uh, some uh, personalized text on the lid of the holder. When we take a look at the lid, especially at the springs, you can see there is a big difference compared to the old design as well. Which only had two springs, uh, fixed springs in the center right here that uh, proven to be problematic at times because especially when if you are using thinner let's say aluminum tin type plates these springs in the center tended to push the the plate up so to bulge it in the center and also push it into the focal out of the focal plane and also it could interfere with the with the dark slide itself so with the new design the springs as you can see are magnetic as well so you can turn them in any direction uh, you want and now the like the standard position for an 8x10 or, or also like other formats the springs are now on the side so they are pressing the plate on the side not in the center and then in case you would uh, be let's say using a much thicker I don't know 3 millimeter plate you can only keep uh, these two springs in the center and they s take these two out so that you don't have much pressure inside of the holder so that the lid closes uh, nicely and again also if you're using tin type plates you will obviously use um, more springs because they are much thinner 
because these springs can be repositioned like this, the holders can uh, easily be used with uh, reduction frames as well. So that if you take a reduction frame that needs to be pressed in the center, you can see these two, these two springs will push down the reduction frame and then this uh, central um, spring will uh, hold down the, the plate in the center. The last big upgrade and update of the new design is that along with the holder you can now also order reduction frames in uh, all of the shapes and sizes you can imagine. Basically no matter the format, square, circular, standard format or even a novel one like this one here, we've got you covered. You can add these bad boys up to your order when um, configuring your holder. And if you don't find your uh, required uh, size or shape right here, you can, we can always make a custom one for you. Just like with the version 1, also version 2 can be easily cleaned under running tap water. So simply remove the slides and uh, take off the lid. And now you're left with this uh, plastic frame that can easily be washed directly under running tap water. Just make sure to, to keep it in an upright position so that you are not washing it like this and uh, getting water into the light traps. Not much will happen, but uh, it's going to be hard for you to dry out the, the, the traps. So that's, it's never a good idea to, to leave them moist for a long period of time. So yeah, you simply take the frame and wash it like this. You can also use a brush or whatever you want. Again, the magnets are protected, so nothing will happen to the magnets either. So when you have the holder washed like this, oh, one more way of, of cleaning is uh, also with the isopropyl alcohol and with some cotton tabs like this. You simply take them and uh, wipe off the corners. This is maybe an even better idea because the alcohol will evaporate. But in any case, if you are uh, washing it with water, just make sure to dry it properly after that. So put it somewhere somewhere dry and somewhere warm never put it on the on the radiator or directly to a or expose it directly to strong heat because the, there is a chance that uh, plastic might deform so yeah that's that and I have one extra bonus tip for you so if you are planning to take a short break from your hobby and you don't plan to use the holder for quite a while Please uh, do this, so take the slider and slide it out and uh, store store the, the body and the slider separately. There you go guys, I definitely forgot something since there are so many things to say, but uh, yeah, you can configure your very own Zebra wet plate holder in the official Zebra dry plate store, which is linked down in the description below. Currently they are offered in all of the standard formats, so 8x10, 5x7 as well as 4x5. And in the near future, we also uh, plan to offer them in ultra large uh, formats. And our great wish is also to offer them in custom sizes. So yeah, there are definitely many more things to, to come. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Bye.